guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all like shop with me videos, anything to do with like Target, Home Goods, Home Decor, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart, grocery shops with me, sometimes cleaning motivation. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It is currently two o'clock and I haven't had any caffeine yet, so we all know what that means. I'm gonna have to stop. Buy Starbucks, I need some fuel, I need something. Well, you're probably watching this video and thinking, mm, it seems like you have a lot of energy, but like, kind of had a, a little bit of like a caffeine, lack of caffeine headache. So let's go to Starbucks really quick and then we will get on with the rest of the video. I like to show myself ordering at Starbucks too and I document that a lot on my Instagram. So if you're interested in like my Starbucks orders or things like that, definitely follow me at Katie Vining on Instagram. But you guys are always interested in like what I'm currently drinking or what my favorite drinks are. So that's a good place because I always review new drinks on my Instagram too. So definitely check it out at Katie Vining on Instagram if you're interested in like Starbucks content. Most of it ends up over there. But anyways, let's head into the drive through Hi, um, how are you? I'm really good too. I'm glad you're having a good day. Um, may, um, do you guys have the brown sugar oat milk espresso? Perfect. Can I get a venti, please? Um, but instead of brown sugar syrup, can I get two pumps of vanilla and then two pumps of cinnamon dolce? That's it. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. Got the good. So the brown sugar shaken espresso, like, why is that so hard to say? The brown, no, the brown sugar oat milk, <coughs> now I'm coughing, not COVID, shaken, I'm vaccinated. Okay, the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso is really good as it comes, but I don't really like the brown sugar syrup that much, but if you do it with like vanilla in it, it's so good, that's what Brian does, and I wanted to try it today with half vanilla, half cinnamon dolce, so we will see how it is, but I just need this to like fuel my shopping. <laughs> I'm always like, ah, oh, it's like, I don't wanna go work. And then I'm like, oh, like your work is like to go film at Target. So, chop chop, let's go. All right, I'm so excited to get my drink. Mm. Just pulled into a spot, got the goods. I have to stir it, but it's like a shaken, espresso I don't know I like am totally a cold brew person but sometimes it just is so nice to have espresso like iced espresso it just has a way different taste and I like any coffee so yeah but I'm really excited to like try this with the two cinnamon dolce and two vanilla so let me stir this hang on all right it's officially stirred Oh my God, it's really sweet. It tastes like they put too much syrup, but it's like really, really, really sweet. Maybe all the syrup's right there on the bottom. No, it's just really sweet, but it's really good. So maybe do, like if you like more cinnamon, do two cinnamon dolce, one vanilla, and no brown sugar syrup. But if you don't like cinnamon as much, then do two vanilla, one cinnamon dolce. Honestly, it slaps. Okay, now we are headed to, well, behind the scenes, like removing the veil, I have to go to Target for something, but you're not gonna see that in this video. But right next to the Target is a TJ Maxx, so I might just run in there, see if they have anything that like strikes my attention. That's just like the name of the game when you're like looking for furniture at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. You just have to pop in, like just give it like two minutes of your time because sometimes there are hidden gems in there. So might run in there. I'll show you guys if I find anything really cute in there. So basically that's what's on the agenda for today. So let's quit jabbing our mouths or jabbing, flabbing our gills. I don't know what the saying is. Jabbing our mouths. Someone let me know down below. Gabbing, gabbing your gills. I have no idea. Anyways, let's go to TJ Maxx. Just got into the store and right in the front they have these Tommy Bahama beach chairs. These are super nice. They have like side pockets. They also have back pockets. Super nice. And they are only 
I love beach chairs. Really fun boho pillows. I like these ones a lot. The texture on them is awesome. I don't know if you can take the covers off. It does not appear. Oh, I lied. Okay, yeah, you can take the covers off. Oh, I love these. I think I'm gonna get these. They have two of them. It is my lucky day. I have said in a previous video, I think it was my last Target Tuesday, that I'm interested in doing like black accents, but that might be too much. Found this clearance pillow. It's on clearance for $12, but I definitely don't think you can take the cover off. And it already kind of looks like it's been through the ringer. I like these as well. These are a lot lighter, but I think I've seen these at another store and I can't take the covers off, which is why I didn't buy them the first time, but I really like those too. I just found this one, which is kind of neat. I love like the wavy pattern and then the like burlap details. It's not like a true black, it's more of like a charcoal and you can take the cover off. It has a nice big zipper. Okay, I like this one. It is a lot of black on it, I feel like, but I feel like mixed in with the other ones, it wouldn't be so bad. Is that too much pattern? Well, would you looky here? This like big woven box. I actually really like this. I have been searching for the Target ones, but they have never come back. It's my own fault. I should have got them when I saw them. I broke my own rule and I'm paying for it, but I just found this one at TJ Maxx and it looks almost identical. Like the clasp, this isn't a clasp, it's just like a little lid. It's different, but I just really like the look of it. It is $20, it's a big box. I'll put my hand on it so you can see. It is a really decent size. And I really like the look of it, so I might pick this up. You could think that I don't need any more fake plants, but you could be wrong. This little one, it looks like a pineapple and it's only $5, so I'm gonna pick it up. I really like this mug good morning sunshine mug is so pretty i love it but i need another mug like i need a hole in my head so i'm gonna leave it for someone else got the goods just finished up at tj maxx now i am headed to Ooh. home goods Some days I just have this weird feeling that like I'm gonna score and find stuff and I feel like that today. So let's see if it's true. I just found this little chest right here. It's so awesome. It has these like woven details like all on the front with gold hardware and then it's just like a really pretty wood color. Oh my gosh, I kind of love this and the price is great too. Okay, I just found these nightstands. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I showed these in one of my previous Home Goods Shop With Me's, but in white, and here they are in black. I like it. I'm looking for potentially black furniture like this. I'm trying to decide what direction I wanna go with our like nightstands and stuff for our bedroom. And these, I like them better in black than white, I think, actually. I love this. I'm having Brian measure the space that I would wanna put it in right now. I'm a little scared this might be too tall, but this would be absolutely perfect for the space I'm thinking of. They have this giant canvas right here of super neutral colors. I think there's another one over in the furniture section. I love this. These are pretty. They kind of look like the ones I found at TJ Maxx, like similar box style, but totally different texture. That cute little hunch I had walking in here, absolutely correct. Rest in peace to my wallet. Okay, so here is the other one. I think they all kind of look a little bit different because there's like two right here and the bottom of this is definitely a lot darker than the bottom of this one. So I definitely need to go back and try to get a better look at the other one and I think this one might be bigger. These are awesome. I, I kind of want to get it. I had a plan for our front entry hall, like a big basket wall, but I think I can move that somewhere else and put this there. This is 250, but it's massive and it has like the artist bio. It just is a good feeling to know that you're like supporting a real artist and not just like one of those big manufactured brands that they sell here. I don't know, we'll see. I'm getting like so frustrated because I just like want to find the right furniture and it's so hard to order stuff online because it looks so different when it comes. And then at Home Goods, like I go to bunches of Home Goods, but I never find stuff that like 
I really, really love because I'm willing to spend like $500 on like a chest or something for our bedroom, but I don't want to spend it unless I know I love it. And then Brian gets frustrated because he's like, oh, you can't make a decision. But it's not that I can't make a decision. It's that I don't know all my options and I'm indecisive. So then I end up settling on something that I like enough. And then like a month later, I find something that I love. And then it's like, oh, well, I am appreciative of the things I have, but it's so hard because I shop for home decor I'm like five or six days a week, four to six days a week, I should say. And I just like need an outlet like for my creativity like I just want to decorate other people's spaces and Brian is like oh you should like think about taking on clients but like I wouldn't even know where to start with that but I would love to like decorate other people's houses but yeah so it's just this like vicious cycle because I shop for home decor a lot and find a lot of amazing stuff too much amazing stuff I should say it's not really a complaint I'm just venting okay so I came back to look at this one and this one is a big like taupe with cream and then a little dollop of black at the bottom. This is, I just feel like it would be so perfect for our space. Over in the bath section, I just found this, which is like, you know, the soap tray where you put like your dish soap, hand soap by the sink or whatever. And I really love these like little leather details, but I don't really like love the tone of the gray wood. I feel like it might go because we have like a grayish backsplash kind of, and these would tie in like the wood tones. So this is a pretty cool find for $12.99. I actually really like this. I'm gonna see if I can find it in another tone of wood. Um, is this a Q-tip dispenser? Because that's genius. And also, I need it. <laughs> Found this like connected cotton ball and swab holder, which is really, really cute too. This one is $6.99, but we don't use cotton swabs for anything, and I can't really think of anything I'd put in the bigger side. You guys, look at these cookie jars. $12.99, it's pineapple shape, and then they have just this that's not a cookie jar or anything, just like a little gold pineapple. And they also have it in gold. Oh my gosh. I love these. I might pick up this one um, just as like a little accent decor piece. I wish they had it in white, but I really like this one too. Clear and gold section is really popping right now. These are really awesome. I've never seen them before. It's a vase with a flower frog. So it has this like gold thing inside, which kind of like separates the flowers, but it's also really pretty. Then they have this vase, which is like almost like the smoke glass vase from Studio McGee, like the shape of it. And then the neck is gold, which is super pretty as well for $12.99. And they do also have a couple shapes of these little like frog flower vases. These are so interesting. I've never seen them before, but the idea of them is really pretty. Just found this boat candle for $19.99. I don't know if it has a scent. It maybe has like a light rose scent. It doesn't really say on the bottom, but it's super pretty. I'm finding some great books today. The I Heart Trader Joe's Cookbook. I do heart Trader Joe's. And it has some really fun recipes in here, like all using stuff you can get at Trader Joe's. And then I found the Home Edit Life, $12.99. And I love the rainbow pages and the gold on the side. So this is definitely coming home with me. Guys, current situation. Here's the back of the store. The line is all the way back here and then loops all the way up and around to the registers. I'll tell you how long it takes. It's currently 5.37 and we'll see what time it is, or 5.38. We will see what time I make it up to the register. I have a bunch of these little like spheres. I decided to pick up a small one for just decorative purposes. I feel like this would really go well with like a lot of the stuff we have. So I'm gonna grab just a tiny one, but they have big ones too. I am next. It took exactly 20 minutes. Okay, so this is where I put it. I've shown these on Instagram, but if you don't follow me there, you definitely should. And this is where I put it. It did come in white, and I am thinking that the white one would look a lot better. So I might exchange it. I think the white one would look a lot better in this space particularly. The jury has spoken. He doesn't like how it sticked out a little bit from the wall. It was a great concept in theory and I'm gonna keep looking. It would've looked great if it didn't stick out. And also it would've looked better in white too, but I don't know. Say hi, I haven't been in the last few videos. Hi. I'm <laughs> Chef Brian tonight. Lots of nights, you're Chef Brian. Sure. <laughs>
Alrighty, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope that you love seeing everything they have this week at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So many fun finds. I can't wait to see what we find next time. So definitely make sure you gave this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you next time. Bye, guys.